Joey. Uh, he got second place uh, with Pure Thunder Dragon. Dang right. Yeah, let him explain. Alright, so awesome. Um, I'm gonna go over the Thunder Dragon stuff just like really fast because it's super standard. Like there's no reason not to play just like maxed out quantities of these guys. So, you know, obviously this stuff is the Thunder Dragon package. So threes of everything. Um, I really wanted to cut this down to two sometimes, but it's just really important for uh, the Titan loop with fusion and everything. Uh, this I really wanted to bump down to two because it bricked me a couple times, but uh, honestly, Dragon Matrix is Dragon Matrix. Uh, Duo definitely wants to come up to two. Very good card. Um, and that's just like it for the Thunder Dragon stuff. Really self-explanatory. Um, as far as anything else, I didn't even play Lupine today. All I played was just the Solars. I just felt like this was just kind of the best, you know. I didn't want to normal summon Solar into a uh, back row or nothing. So I played Instant Fusion over that. You'll see that later in the profile. So that's it for like the Thunder Dragon stuff. Um, I played a crap ton of hand traps. Just covered my bases. Uh, three Phantasme. This was fantastic, obviously. Um, if I'm summoning Colossus and Titan, you like have to link to get over it. So this was like super strong. Um, along with the three Veilers, this just protected my Colossus. So like people just couldn't deal with it. And then uh, only two Ash. Just because uh, I really want to go first. So uh, obviously if I have Colossus, you're not searching. So this was like just hit pots and stuff like that. And then uh, two of these cards that are coming out most definitely. <laughs> Uh, I was really scared of Orcus. Going second Orcus was super popular, so like I just didn't want to lose, you know, stop their loop a little bit. And then uh, finally just two impermanents as far as like hand traps. So obviously just like a super bulky hand trap line up here. And it worked out really well. Um, and then for spells, uh, obviously the best card in the deck, Gold Sark. Um, and then next, two desires. I see a lot of people cutting this card. This card was just freaking fantastic. You play threes of everything, so there's just really no reason not to. So. And then next, obviously, it's going to be the two fusions. Uh, I really want to cut it down to one, but obviously with desires, you got to play the two. And then uh, lastly, just the three instant fusion. And then the three allure of darkness. Uh, these were the best cards. Again, you'll see it later in the extra deck, some of the combos I did. Um, but yeah, that was it for the deck, 42 cards. I just wanted to kind of make it more so I didn't banish too much off of Desires. And then for the extra deck, uh, one Link Karibo. This uh, rarely came up. It'll uh, go with some extra deck cards that I'll show you. Uh, some Summoner. And a uh, side frame Lambda for like just the Link 2s that point down. Uh, Lambda was super strong. Um, I didn't stop any Nibir suits today at all, but Gamma definitely put in work. Um, next, just some Nightmares. Uh, just Phoenix and Unicorn just for spot removal. And then finally, the best card in the extra deck, this guy. Um, I didn't summon it too much today. I think I summoned it once or twice. But uh, um, a lot of the deck can summon level 1, so usually you'll just have like a board of like this, plus like a solar and a token, make this into Link Rebo, and make this into Nigirsu to out like uh, the BLS Link, so I thought that was super powerful. Um, the 1 Omega for uh, the Gamma and the side you'll see later. Uh, we've got our instant fusion targets, I don't care what anyone says, this got rid of Dingirsus, this got rid of a lot of stuff. Uh, obviously Kaminari attack making titans really good. And then uh, obviously just the triple Colossus, triple titan. Uh, I really want to bump this down to two, but you really can't. Like there's a lot of grindy situations where you don't want to just keep shuffling back a titan and a Colossus, because I, I found myself in that situation a lot today. So that was it for the extra deck. Um, for the side deck, there's a lot of stuff I didn't play today. Like uh, this card along with the uh, triple super poly. This stuff didn't even come in today, um, so this stuff might be uh, changing out, but it's for the rest of the side deck. Uh, two Danko, this card's freaking amazing, it's Thunders. Uh, next is just gonna be the Gamma package, it's gonna be Driver and the Gammas. And then uh, these were super powerful, like I said, uh, didn't stop near Beersu today, no one sided that against me. Uh, triple Twin Twister, uh, this was just like generic against like the back row decks and stuff like that. And then uh, lastly, just the two anti-spell. Um, so originally this was supposed to be for uh, uh, Dark Ruler No More, but uh, uh, it was just like really good against like everything I played. Like whenever I went first, it was always siding this in, especially against Striker. you know, obviously how that works. So, and that is it. So uh, um, I guess some shout outs. I uh, got this cool ass team right here. It's gonna be Execution Gaming. I suggest you guys check that out. Um, also shout out to every other team, like Midwest Gaming and everything. Uh, check out TGG, I think it is. TGG, uh, they got a new store open here in Minnesota. So, uh, and that's it. All right. Thank you, okay. uh, uh, Joey. Joey, Joey for the deck profile. Joey, yeah, perfect. <laughs> um, but yeah, I uh, hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Sweet. Leave a like, comment, definitely subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video. Have a nice day. Sweet. Thank you.